Hello one and all, welcome back to Let's Play Factorio. My name is Cilantro. I certainly hope you've been enjoying this series thus far, because I know I have been. Let's get right back into the action. I've been uh, really concerned about my power usage recently. Uh, there's a reason I've been making a lot of solar panels and accumulators, and I've just finished the automation of all that kind of stuff. But it doesn't mean I can't take some time to lower the power usage in other areas. For example, pump jacks, electric furnaces, assembly machines, chemical plants, Electric mining drills, all of these things can have modules in them. So I'm going to start with the ones that have the fewest uh, number of them because that means that each individual one has more power usage. So that involves the chemical plants. And I've already made a few of these F effectivity or the efficiency. I think at one point they were called effectivity modules, but now they are efficiency modules. Either way, they do a large amount of power usage reduction. Total of 60% for two of these, uh, bringing the power usage down quite a bit. Uh, without them, it is 210 kilowatts, whereas with them, it is 84 kilowatts. Rather massive discount. So we're going to need to make, uh, let's see here, eight more of them. Go ahead and make some of those, and I'll just grab the rest of the materials while I'm out and about. In the meantime, my usage for these uh, efficiency modules is going to go through the roof as time goes on with this playthrough. And generating more power is only partially going to solve my problem. What I also need to be doing in addition is using less power. It's combined effort between using less power and generating more power that will make my base run so much more efficiently. So we're going to let those build while I'm at it. How is our robot count anyway? How are we doing here? We have 108 construction robots and only 28 of the poor logistics robots. Most likely because I'm out of those. That's okay. Construction robots are really what I want the most of right now. I'll likely eventually curb those and start making the uh, logistics robots more of them in the future. Um... The petroleum gas seems to be flowing a lot more. I can't really tell if it's fully working yet. Oh, actually, I already have some chemical plants here as well. Almost forgot about those. And there. And there. Wow. Quite a few of them. Um, should I go for Module 2s yet? Maybe? I might actually just not science for a little bit here and let my pollution wear down a little bit. Maybe. I've only been getting attacked slightly. Actually, you know what? We could really use a combat shotgun. Bring it! Bring it, military. I really should make more assembly machines as well. I never really got my Science 3 fully up and running. I have eight of these and eight of the reds, wherever they are. Way down here, somewhere, right across the way. And I have two blues. That's not even close. Like, you actually need twice as many blue crafters to keep up with the other ones. And I have a fourth. Instead of a twice, instead of twice, it's a fourth. Not the best kind of math. Um, I'm going to need some substations as well, which require advanced circuits. Let's go grab some more of those. There we go. <sighs> Vacuum them all up. Actually, I have some science packs, one sitting around. Let's, uh, let's go drop these off. No real need to have them in my inventory. Okay, well, I <laughs> guess I'm going to throw them all in the one. That's fine. That works. So those will be crafting for me. Um, Uh-oh. Weep, weep, weep. Help. We're getting attacked. Let's make a RoboPort. And I'm going to extend the robot network here. I'm going to put another RoboPort right over here, which will allow me to repair these automatically. So that'll work. Um, let's take a little bit of damage, actually. So that's not bad. How much? Yeah, 30 damage. You can, you can handle that, bro. Actually, I want to put these side by side instead. That way they hopefully will both reach the same target at the same time. Honestly, for the amount of pollution I've been putting out, I'm very surprised at how little I've been getting attacked. It's, uh, it's quite crazy, actually. Um... Just cancel that for now. I want to get this RoboPort set up. Still making these, still cranking these out. Once I get my... Did I get my substation already? 
no, I went. I had to go grab materials to make the substation. I want to. I want to come up with a design for the solar panels that will fill up an entire substation by itself, and can connect two substations next to each other. So I want to have a reasonable ratio between substations and accumulators that I can set up as a blueprint and say, I need more power here. Boop. Unpress the boop button and boop out some power. Boop, the official sound effect of making power, apparently. Are we really taxing ourselves that hard on batteries? That's actually fine because I kind of made a million accumulators while making almost no, uh, none of these. Oh, we're actually backed up on the steel now. Interesting. Um... Maybe I should make more steel crafters? Maybe? Is this really not enough? This, I guess this is really not enough. Hmm, interesting. Could also be a power issue as we do not have a ton of electricity, of course, still flowing through. I'll, uh, I'll come back and work on that right now. As long as it's making some of them, that's all that matters. Tons of inefficiencies around my base. I feel like I've very poorly handled this playthrough. But I guess the advantage in, in in all of this is that I'm not getting attacked a lot. And when I am getting attacked, it's very small amounts of getting attacked. So, 16 solar panels. These are almost done. Man, they take forever to build. I really should have canceled these and just remade them with the advanced circuits that I picked up. But the damage is done. All in the name of less power usage. Always needed. Really crank out as many batteries as we can get. I could, I could actually likely expand the battery production. I think we're sitting on more than enough sulfuric acid, uh, which is being made right here. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. So as soon as these modules are done, I'll be in good shape and I can just move all that stuff. Um, in the meantime, I'm gonna have my robots clear out some more of these trees up here. Sorry, sorry, forests. I don't want to clear out too many because I do like the the pollution barrier that it makes, but I, I want to have more room. I feel con I feel constrained in the amount of room that I have when I have a bunch of trees kind of blocking the way. Plus, I really just like watching the robots fly out there and do their thing. It's very satisfying. There, efficiency modules. Reduce that power usage, please. Getting it down there. Assembly machines are what's killing me. I have 50 of them, though. And that's that's the thing. The uh, the power reducing, much better to put into the chemical plant if I don't need the faster speed because the assembly machines, I mean, yeah, they use a good chunk of power, but not as much power per as the chemical plants do. Actually, the electric mining drills aren't even close either. Look at that. <laughs> Didn't realize it was that far off, actually. There we go. Power reduction for you and for you. Excellent. Good, good, good. All right, second robot port. I'm gonna hopefully be able to build a solid grid out of this, with none of these actually interfering with each other. So we're gonna try that. Where is my robot port? There we go. Oh, yep, that's lights. Okay, so we need it right. Hey, look at that. I almost had it perfect. Right here. Uh, the yellow dashed line means that the robot ports are actually connected in their networks of robots. Basically, they will share robots if built in such a way. Very handy. And we actually need to get power here, of course. Boop, there we go. Um, oh, wait. Putting a power line next to it does not matter if that power line is not connected to other things. And so this allows you to expand the logistics network as well as the repair network and all that kind of stuff while using the same robots. As you can see, uh, I now have repair capabilities. So my robots are going to fly out once they are fully charged and repair my laser turrets as long as I have repair packs supplied to them, uh, which I'll give them a few more. So now if I do get attacked and the laser turrets are able to fend it off, it's not really that big of a deal because my robots can just go repair them. So far those two turrets are holding just fine. Not really a problem. Not really a problem at all, okay. Um, solar panels, right. I was going to make a solar panel thingy. There we are. And our substations, let's get this exactly in between each of these. So literally like that. So I need to fill this area with ideally an even amount of solar panels and accumulators. Can I just do this? Is this is this is this a thing? 
this a thing that'll work? I feel like this is not, because this is 16. Wait, oh yeah, this might actually work. Hang on. That's uh, 16 of those, right? And then one, two, three, one, two, three. So that's not quite a perfect ratio. Not quite. Damn. Um, darn it. Although actually more solar panels than accumulators is probably okay. So I think just for the sake of the sake of it, I'm just going to use this. We're just going to use this. And this is going to be our accumulator and that and that. I like how you can make your own icons for these. That's like the coolest thing about blueprints. Actually, I'm pretty sure I've said at any given time that everything is the coolest thing about blueprints. But you know what? We're just going to go with it. Just don't even argue with me, guys. It's not worth it. Never argue with an idiot like me, because I will bring you down to my level and then beat you with experience. Pretty sure Abraham Lincoln said that. Somebody famous. Um, so let me... I'm just going to use this area right now for power. Because I can. Um... Can't quite use that, unfortunately. Um, I can't even can't even place it there because it hates me. What are we missing? We're missing some more of those. Okay, need some big electric poles. Big old, big old. Whoa! All right, military done. Good. Military four. Ooh, piercing shotgun shells. I do enjoy piercing shotgun shells. Um, I need to start working towards power armor soon as well, for sure. Uh, better modules would be nice. Better craft arenos would be good. Let's make, let's make some more robot speed. Robots can always be faster. There we go. Excellent. Okay. And I need a substation as well. And let's go see how many more of these that I've made. Where are we? We have made approximately zero because we're not getting enough steel. Because of jerks. Hey, look at that. Damn, that alone was already able to help supplement our power quite a bit. Wow. Never realized how much power, I guess, that solar panels actually put out. That's pretty badass. <clears throat> Unfortunately, we are currently lacking on iron. I do believe our iron supply is being very heavily tapped out. So I'm going to have to make that uh, train system that I had proclaimed I was going to be making about 5 million episodes ago. So, yeah, we are just getting barely a trickle of iron. Oh, hey, we're getting attacked again. Get him! Okay, let's... Whoa! No, what am I doing? Mouse is flailing around. I'm not even sure what's going on. Bad things are happening. Very bad things are happening. All right, let's see about making some trains here. Now, I think I'm going to make a loop. I think a loop for the trains is going to work better because it's likely I'm going to need two trains... To actually be able to to manage all this. I'm going to do it on stone. Is that really all the stone that I have? Whoa, hey! I didn't say that. Get back in there, wood. No. It's bad wood. Too much crap on me. Um, I think loops are going to work better. Because I'd like to have more than one train coming in at a given time. I mean, look at look at the size of this deposit over here. Can you see it? Can you see it with this giant obnoxious uh, UI in front of your face? That's what I thought. Um, see, I like right here. All this coal, all this iron, all this copper. One train is not going to be enough to tame this beast. So, I'm thinking a train yard somewhere around right here would be really cool. And then I can just funnel the stuff in here. And then in here, I will have a much more expanded smelting array... And all will be right with the world. Hopefully. Okay. Enough planning. Let's go do stuff. I guess I'll make the uh, train station first. That seems like a plan to me. Yeah, you can see. Wow, we're even tapping out on the, co on the copper now, too. Woo! Blitzing through those materials. Blitzing through. Um, so we're going to have to... You know what? I'm going to go out here. I don't have a lot of bullets. 
Let's uh, make a couple more bullets. Oh, out of materials. I want to go see where we've been getting attacked from. We've been getting some very slight little trickle attacks over here. And I, it may be this base down here. I really need to get some um, radar set up. For sure. Oh, you know what? I think one of these areas down here was actually... It had like a big worm that I was trying... Yeah, that's right. That's what this is. It's a giant worm that I am not in any way feel, anyway feeling comfortable about trying to kill right now. A little scary. Even have more iron and such down here that I could use. But yeah, I think down here is likely the best place for a future continuation of... I, I think I should just barely be able to fit a decent train station in here. I don't want to leave myself too spatially limited, but I, I kind of have to. But I think if I'm going to do this, I really need to extend the ro robotics network. I'm going to need more of those, so I might as well just make some. need a lot of steel. Hopefully, past me was cool enough guy to continue smelting steel. Hey, look at that! He was! What a cool guy. I do not give that guy enough credit. That guy is a scholar and a gentleman. And he picks his nose. I may just uh, actually borrow some of the robots down here rather than trying to connect the entire thing right now. Um, I do want two more RoboPorts, but rather than trying to do all that sort of stuff, let's just let's just borrow the robots. Hey, bros, can I just, can I just borrow you? Thank you. Excellent. Still need ten more of those and another... Where are we? I do have a substation that I can provide. And I will provide. Bam! There we go. Wow! That power really just like figured itself out with just a couple solar panels. Dang. I didn't realize how power efficient my base already was actually. That's not bad. I mean, I'm pretty sure my original LP of this game, I had like 60 megawatts of power used very early. Would have been a little crazy. Solid fuel still holding up. Copper still holding up. Okay, so we're good on those aspects at least. If I am going to place these RoboPorts down, uh, which I am, I want to make sure that I get these balanced out in terms of their distances properly. I want to, I want to, I want to make sure that when I go to place them, that they are being placed where they would otherwise be placed. So I guess this one is would would be right here, uh, which I can do. I can, yeah, I can make that work. Hopefully I'll be able to place the rest of them like this. Uh, sorry, science, you're getting cut off for a second here. Zoom all the way out. And make sure we are exactly where it needs to be. There we go. So, let's see here. And I need a underground belt. There we are. And you need to go like this. There we go. And you need to go like this. And then I need these. This uh, science area may end up getting out or uh, redone at some point. Cool. Okay, so that robo port has been placed. I, again, I, I'm actually going to remove that robot port, but I wanted to see where it belonged before I uh, went ahead and did that. This one is like, wow, this one is right in the middle of my smelter array. That is unfortunate because I am not interested in doing that. Let's uh, let's find the exact spot just and just use it for measurement here. Um, yeah, one to the side there and... Okay, so right there is where it belongs. I hope if I got a little closer so I can see exactly where it was supposed to be. So right there, I think. Right, right there. Okay. So that is right there. Okay. So the bottom side of my 
little smelterino there. And thankfully, you can actually go diagonally with these, so I actually probably didn't even need to bother measuring that. Let's uh, chop some of this crap down. And clear this out. You know, I may actually be able to uh, pull this off just as is. Okay. Hard to see when it's dark. Got to chop some more. Screw this. I need to put, I need to put up some lights. Just because I can see around my area. Doesn't mean I shouldn't put up some lights for the rest of the areas. There we go. Hey, look at that. Genius. There we go. Much better. Now I can see exactly where it is. Right here. Okay. And I was right in the way. Yep. Perfect. Cool. So now I can see how far out. Yeah. I still need to have one more robot port up there. That's fine. That is perfectly acceptable. So we're going to power this one. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the other robot port up here. The one that I had placed directly adjacent. I'm just gonna kind of, kind of bishop it. We're gonna make a check mark, going diagonal. Is this uh, this is probably gonna remove my thing from the repair reach, though. Unfortunately, uh, yes, it will. I'll just deal with it. They, they honestly haven't been taking that much damage anyway. So I'm gonna head over here with this last robo port. See, see, we're gonna have it kind of like diagonally minded. This one's diagonal from that one which is diagonal from the first one, which is diagonal from this one, and so on. So, we're just going to bounce check mark all the way up here. Check mark strategies. Why are we still not powered? I guess because I'm not a very smart man. There. <sighs> I'm really good at video games. Wow, this is, this is actually perfect right where I needed it to be. This covers pretty much this entire construction area, including all the way up towards the other stuff there. Nice! I love it when I inadvertently make a good design for something. I'm going to need to defend this, though, because the last thing I would like to have happen is for little buggy bugs to eat it. No thanks. Do we have any uh, laser beams? I do not. I will borrow some of these laser beams. There we are, and some walls. All right, we have the walls. There we go. No, don't robots. Don't you tell me that you don't have walls. I've got walls somewhere. You just need to look harder. And by that I mean I need to actually go build some walls or put them in a logistics network. One of those two. I'm still gonna blame them. We're doing victim blaming here today. Get in there, construction robots. Now I can also deforest all of this non-stop stuff. All this non-stop trees staring right in my face. Also, uh, one of my favorite actors in the Star Trek series. Star Trek. Did I say Star Trek? I did. Star Trek series. Deforest. Sorry. I, maybe I don't. I, maybe I just made those robots into liars. Well, I guess we're going to have to set up some sort of a wall manufactory as well as start working on the train station. But that's going to have to wait till the next episode of Let's Play Factorio. So much stuff to do, so little time. Thanks for watching.